Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be kind of a combination of two. I'm gonna be doing a luxury haul, but also new luxury products that are worth the money. I feel like I kind of owed you this since I did a crap luxury pro luxury products video and I just like to do luxury videos. So these are mainly just new products that I have purchased, I have tested out, and I'm bringing them to you to let you know that they are worth it so let's jump into it i don't know even know where to begin why don't we just begin with this so natasha denona came out with a very a new star palette i believe it killed yesterday and i've had the privilege of playing with this for a week and i really really like it there is a ton of shadows in this palette here this is the warm side this is the cool and you can just get a million zillion different looks uh, they are pressed pigments so a lot of these are shimmery but i like how there's crease shades there's transition colors there's everything that you need for i guess an introduction into her line she is a luxury brand line and i know that this is probably going to retail for 160 or 170. I'm wearing this one right here and I have I've worn this one which is gorgeous. I mean look at the pigmentation. So it's nice because it does come with an insert that you can take out if you wanted to you know it has an insert with all of the names. Press pigments are just so gorgeous. I truly love this and also if you guys didn't know if you shop on beautylish they have like flex pay options so if any order over a hundred dollars you can do like a flex pay which is like three months like over a period of three months and pay for it which is really nice so i mean i wish more companies did that i wish nordstrom did that i'm wearing this gloss today i this is my first gloss from her and i'm freaking obsessed with it this is wood wash this was a recommendation from my friend trisha who did like a top five gloss video from natasha and this one is like the perfect nude rose color that is the color and that's what i'm wearing over this lip palette today also from Natasha Denona, and I bought these with my own money, just to let you know. So I got this off Beautylish, and it has, I think this is called um, Mahogany Nudes. So this is all of her lipsticks in one, great for travel. I freaking love this palette. I wear it all the time. I'm wearing this shade, this last shade here. I don't know, let me just swatch it, which is kind of like this cool toned purple color mixed with this gloss. I mean, kill me now. Okay, so I did get a new primer. I've been loving it. It's the Gucci Silkening Face Serum. That is what it looks like. And this is one of those primers where it kind of flies on the radar a lot. And it's about 50 bucks, which isn't bad for primers these days. It's around $50. But it is infused with vitamins, and I feel like it does give my skin, especially in like the drier months coming up, a light moisture, also kind of smoothing out my fine lines and wrinkles of smoothing out fine lines. So that's what it looks like and it just sinks into the skin really nice um doesn't really have a scent to it but can't i mean i can even tell on the back of my hand it just kind of plumps up the areas on your skin for makeup application so i've been really enjoying that so who freaking knew about this foundation who knew coming through nordstrom i think like a couple like last week and i saw that tom ford had a new foundation i was floored because i haven't heard anybody talk about it so i researched it and there there was a couple of beauty blogs that um did reviews and i was sold but this is a waterproof foundation plus concealer <clears throat> been dying for him to come out with like a full high coverage type foundation because that's what i like i like to have like a mask on my face, the waterproof formula. It's a foundation plus a concealer, but you would never know it once applied to the face. Like I sometimes want my face to look like Edward Scissorhands when she's like, like slapping on that Avon stuff and she's like, darn this stuff. So this, I got the shade 5.5 Bisque and I'm usually in between Fawn and Bisque, but I always like to go a little bit more on the warm side. Uh, so this is what it looks like. You get an ounce, and I have to tell you that it is not as heavy as the Clinique. The Clinique is pretty, pretty high coverage where if you were to put too much of it on or not apply it right, that it would look cakey. My, my husband has even said you look cakey, but I still love that foundation. This is pretty, like kind of the same consistency as this, which I'm gonna to get to in a moment. But I love it. I think that it really covers everything super nicely. And I, mean, I love the tube. So if you are wanting a high coverage foundation and concealer kind of on the go, this is 
freaking I love it. To bring up the clay de po because I'm obsessed. I actually, I mix these two today and it makes a great mix. And this is just like a radiant ray of light on your face and this covers like freaking tattoos. Next thing that I bought and I didn't know this was a thing either, but I am so glad I bought it. I think it's gorgeous is the Sicily Fido Touche Illusions Gel Powder Bronzer. I don't know if this is new. It's new to me, but I about died when I saw swatches online. So it looks like this. And Sicily is a pretty expensive brand. I mean, beautiful like combination of just had a great workout and just stepped out of the sun because it has a hint of like pinky red undertones. So it really does mimic the way that you would look if you just got a really nice bomb ass tan. And it's not glittery whatsoever. Very nice satiny smooth feel to it. It's almost more satin matte. I love it. It looks very warm, so don't let the color frighten you. But honestly, on the face, oof. I mean, it just, oh, it is like one of a kind. I've never had a bronzer that is like this satiny. It's I, it's a gel to a powder. I mean, I didn't even know that was a thing. So I really have been enjoying this. And I think, and I just think that's a really good buy. Honestly, it just is a very natural bronzer. Speaking of the other bronzer that I've been loving, if you don't want any satin and you just want matte, I would get this before it's completely out of stock. It is the, the Java Sun from... Victoria Beckham, I hauled this last week and I am obsessed. I'm wearing it today. I think it is the most, one of the most flattering bronzers that I have tried. And I'm a bronzer fanatic. I have so many and I think it's beautiful. It's just a little bit more on the neutral side. This is a little bit more on the warm. If you don't like any sheen or shimmer to your bronzer, this is what you want to go for, for sure. Speaking of Victoria Beckham, I have her all over my face. I managed to get my hands on the Modern Mercury highlighter that I pretty much had to sell my soul to the devil in order to find. Thanks to my friend Lori who tipped me off, but I think they randomly restock this product at Saks, Neiman Marcus, anywhere. I would just keep on the hunt. I will try to find it, like just randomly restock. So I have this on my cheeks if you haven't already. I freaking look like, I mean, I need to relax. By Sheen um, oh, highlighter, look at that. It's the perfect rose gold color and I just love it. I think, if you can find this, do yourself a favor and find it. I almost went on eBay and bought it. I um, That's how desperate I was. And then the next day I got my email from Lori and I was like, let me go play the lottery. We have two eye things. So this one, uh, this one, this one. This is the Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold pure luxury lift and firm hydrogel eye patches. So this product is really freaking amazing. So this is infused with 14 karat gold and 14 karat gold is very nourishing for the skin. It's very firming, very anti-aging. And what they look like, it smells so good. You can use each pad twice and you can use it under your eyes, for your crow's feet or around your mouth. I will take it under my eyes for my puffiness and then um, around my mouth for my smile lines. But you can use them for your crow's feet. They work for dark circles. Amazing, and it's immediate results. It's not like you have to wait, you know, four weeks to see results. These are immediate. It's not permanent, which is fine. Neither is like filler, Botox, orgasms. It's so firming. My skin feels, feels incredibly firm after. I mean, it's unlike anything else. I got a couple of other things from Sephora that I'm going to show you. So I cannot wait to try like his entire line of 14 karat gold because this stuff rocks. I really could feel it firming afterwards and during when I had the patches on and I love it. Next thing that I got, which is kind of on the other end, if you want like that brightening, immediate brightening aspect under the eye, but also I'm sure long term is the Edward Best Black Sea Precious Pearl Eye Concentrate. And that's what it looks like. And it's supposed to mimic the way a pearl looks on your face. That's, I mean, if you can see, like, look at that pink sheen. So that is very brightening for under the eye. So it looks really good. Put on concealer, it just brightens the area. I don't necessarily feel that intense firming effect like I do with the Peter Thomas Ross, but I do like the way that it brightens under my eyes, especially if you have like dark circles or things that you want to kind of correct. No, last thing that I've been dying just to reiterate how much I love and I'm wearing today is the Lancome Absolute Powder. So I hauled this and I'm wearing it today. This is 
one of the best blurring smoothing powders that I've ever tried in my life. It does wonders for your face. And I realized that, you know, they kind of market this more for um, women who are a little bit older, maybe like in their 50s, who have actually like visible lines and wrinkles. And they say that it's like night and day when they put it on. Like people are like, what is on your face? So I highly recommend this. It's $60 for powder, but a little bit goes a long so way. So that is it for my haul slash new products that I think are so worth it. All of the links will be below. If you are interested, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.